Members of the National Assembly or NA on Friday, December the 30th, 2022, elected Dr. Son Saisi Pandon, the former Deputy Prime Minister, as the new Prime Minister to replace Mr. Pankami Pawan following his retirement. The Lao people will now pin their hopes on the new leadership to address the nation's public debt and economic difficulties, as well as generate more job opportunities. More details in the following LNTV News Year End Roundup Change in premiership comes at a time when Laos is facing its toughest time in decades, with the government striving to prevent the country from sliding into default and to bring inflation down to an average of 9% this year. Mr. Pankam, who was premier for one year and nine months from March 22, 2021 to December 30, 2022, submitted a letter on December 15 to President Hong Lun Si Sulit requesting to retire from the premiership, which has a five-year term. In an address to the fourth ordinary session of the National Assembly's Ninth Legislature on Friday that was televised, the outgoing 72-year-old premier told lawmakers that his age and health made him unfit to take on hard work amid the hardships being faced by Laos. Citing his age, weakening health, and the economic hardship confronting the country, Mr. Pan Kam said, I could no longer bear such a heavy task. Therefore, he said he submitted his resignation letter to the president. The vice president of the National Assembly, Mrs. Sun Thon Sanyachak, read a letter from President Tong Lun about Mr. Pan Kam's request to resign and gave the floor to the people's representatives to vote for a new head of the government. Solely nominated by President Tong Lun, Dr. Son Tsai overwhelmingly secured a majority of 149 votes, representing 98.67 percent of the 151 National Assembly members present for the session. Two representatives voted against him. According to Article 58 of the Lao Constitution and Article 65 of the Law on the National Assembly, 51 percent or more than half of the votes of the lawmakers attending a session is enough for Dr. Son Tsai to secure the top administrative job. The vote was originally not included in the agenda for the fourth ordinary session which was held during December 5th to 30th and it was specially scheduled. Addressing the nation live, Dr. Son Tsai thanked the National Assembly members for their votes which put him up for the noble but heavy and challenging job. On behalf of the Ninth Government Cabinet, he thanked Mr. Pankam for his highly valued contributions and service to the people and the nation. The former Deputy Prime Minister, who was in charge of economic affairs in Mr. Pankam's administration, assumes the top office at a time when Laos is facing increased challenges, ranging from the sharp depreciation of the Lao Keep to high inflation against the backdrop of the deteriorating global economic environment. 
นี่เมนการหมอบหมายความพิสอบการเมืองที่มีเกียรติสูงส่งทั้งเป็นหน้าที่อันนักนวงและท่าทายทดสอบในหลวงให้แก่ข้าพเจ้าในฐานะ I deeply understand that this is an assignment of prestige and noble political duty and it is also a heavy and challenging task and test for me ดรสอนไซ said as he thanked his voters ข้าพเจ้าขอให้ข้ามันสัญญาและปฏิญาณว่า He vowed to endeavor, along with members of the cabinet and senior party and state leaders, to realize key targets. These include realizing the resolution of the 11th National Party Congress, the 9 f y e a r Socio-Economic Development Plan, and the two national agendas on addressing the economic and financial difficulties and countering drug trafficking. จะเสริมสู่มรดกปฏิบัติบุกให้สูงกว่าเวลาใดมัดควบคับสมาชิกรัฐบาลปฏิบัติหน้าที่ของตนให้ดีที่สุดภายใต้รัฐธรรมนูญและกฎหมายของสปปลาวพร้อมที่จะอุทิศเทือแห่งสติปัญญาและความหูความสามารถเขาในการปฏิบัติหน้าที่ด้วยความพิสอบสูงและจัดสัตสื่อบริสุทธิ์ I stand ready to dedicate my physical power, wisdom, knowledge, and competency in my duty with the highest responsibility and honesty, he said. Other key agendas, Dr. s a n s a i pledged to fulfill to mitigate challenges and strengthening the economy include maintaining firm political stability and security, and constantly addressing social ills, increasing macroeconomic management from various measures, including continuous reforms of state enterprises and the financial budgetary and monetary system, improving good governance, creating basic factors conducive to sustainable development. Alleviating poverty and narrowing the development gap. The Lao people now pin their hopes on the new leadership to address the nation's public debt and economic difficulties, as well as generate more job opportunities. The 20-day National Assembly session approved 12 laws and a number of development policies. That will guide the socio-economic development of Laos amid a global economic downturn. The National Assembly urged the government to further boost economic growth while working harder to curb inflation and to stabilize exchange rates in order to minimize the impacts on the livelihoods of the local people.